Hi, it's Malcolm, the developer of Wear Installer. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Dexcom G6 blood glucose monitoring app onto your Wear OS device. Unfortunately, the Dexcom G6 app isn't in the Wear OS Play Store, so you can't install it to your watch directly. But Wear Installer can help. Let's take a look. I'm assuming here that you already have the Dexcom G6 app installed on your Android phone. If you don't, I've provided the link below. So firstly, please install my Wear Installer app onto both your Android phone and your Wear OS watch from the Google Play Store. The link is below this video, or you can get it by visiting my FreePoc website, that's F-R-E-E-P-O-C. Now you'll need to make yourself a developer on your watch. I'll demonstrate on my Galaxy Watch 4 here. Go to Settings, About Watch, Software, Software Version, and tap until you see a message about developer options being enabled, which I've already done on this watch. The process to make yourself a developer is similar for older Wear OS watches, just Google for details if you need to. So now let's go into developer options and tweak a few settings. So developer options. I recommend that you put your watch on the charger and select stay awake while charging as I've done here. It's not mandatory, but it does just keep your watch awake while we do the installation process. Now let's turn on ADB debugging. Yes, I'm sure. And also debug over Wi-Fi. Make sure your watch is within range of your Wi-Fi router. We now need to find the IP address of the watch. And the easiest way to do that is to actually start Wear Installer and it will show you the IP address you need. And uh, there it is. Now let's turn to our Android phone and open Wear Installer there. Now there's some description that explains what's going on, but the important thing is this section here where you need to put the IP address of your watch into the phone app and you'll see that I've already done it. Once you've done that, press the done button and you can see a list of all of the apps on my phone and we want to scroll until we find the Dexcom G6 app. They're in alphabetical order so it's fairly easy and there it is. Now I'm just going to tap on this uh, app and it's going to extract the watch component and send it to my watch. It's important to allow up to five minutes for this transfer to take place and it's going to happen faster in this video because I already did it a few minutes ago so it's been catched. If necessary just tap the phone screen to keep the phone screen to keep it awake until the transfer is finished. So I tap on a Dexcom app and already it sent it to the uh, to the watch but as I say it will take uh, longer when you do it for the first time. So now um, there's a prompt on the watch to allow a connection on the phone and let's select OK. And there's a message to say we are ready to install the, uh, the APK from the Dexcom G6 app. So tap install here and just wait a few seconds. And now we're finished. So let's tap finish. It reminds us to turn off ADB debugging on our watch because that's otherwise going to drain our battery. So let's go back and do that. 
you can turn off stay awake while, uh, when charging as well if you like but I'm just going to leave it uh, leave it on for now so I'll move my phone out of the way and the Dexcom G6 app is installed but it appears as a watch face not in the list of apps so in order to uh, use it as a watch face let's long tap my current watch face and here actually is the Dexcom watch face and so I can tap to select it I get a message saying uh, check on uh, check the app on my phone which I've done and uh, and there it is we're all done so I've had quite a few people ask me how to install the Dexcom G6 app onto their watches and I hope this video has helped please note I have no association with Dexcom and I don't use the app myself so for any other queries please ask the Dexcom community that's it for now thanks for watching and see you soon